Hello and welcome back to the 13th episode of a nostalgia playthrough of Close Combat 3, Cars of Fire and Gang Campaign with the Russians on Elite Difficulty. Lucky number 13, let's see what we got. Are we uh, are now... Oh, apparently we're defending where we previously attacked. So that's pretty nice. The force strength has turned and now the uh, Germans have a lot more acquisition points to go around, so... Well... Let's have a quick look at the map to see where we can deploy. Yeah. Hopefully we'll be able to stomp them off the map fairly quickly. We'll see how we do it though. Uh, we only have 50 requisition points this time, which arguably I guess is a little bit more than last time. Uh, but it's not going to yield us uh, a lot of upgrades. We can get a KV-41 uh, version out of our 39, so let's do that. Our heavy machine gun teams are as good as they get at the moment. Could upgrade the Cossack infantry to a rifle squad. We're not going to do that though because it means more submachine guns, which means less range capability. Could upgrade this squad here as well to an LMG squad or another LMG squad. Um, I don't really see what the upgrade is. Like it's like honestly, what is the? How is this better? They have less smoke grenades. And one of the Mosins are turned into a older version Mosin. I, I just don't see how that's an upgrade. So we're not going to do that. Let's see. Uh, armor. Yeah, we can't afford any armor, obviously. But uh, hey, we can look at it. Uh, we can get Matildas now. Uh, this is just RNG every round. It's just lend lease equipment from the Brits. Um, yeah, well, we're going to get some more infantry, I suppose, because at least that we can afford, so let's see what we have available here. In the elite section, there's nothing I really want. Let's see what's in the regular section. Well, we have this LMG squad. Just a weird configuration one that I wasn't really too keen on, but I guess that's just the newer configuration of the LMG squad, so the, the one we have here is like outdated. But in my opinion, it's better. This one here sacrifices a smoke grenade for a Molotov, which can be nice, I guess, but it also sacrifices a Mosin for an older style Mosin, so I'm not sure about that. Yeah, looking around here, I'm not... Not a hundred percent sure. Uh, I guess we could get an LG team. That would leave us with twelve. Yeah, I guess we'll just do that. All right, that's the thing though. They will be equipped for winter combat if we upgrade them. Let's see what we can get for these uh, remaining twelve uh, points. So, if we put, if we do upgrade them. I feel like we're going to make them worse, but uh, I don't know, maybe not. Could get a border patrol or an assault team. Uh, maybe we just try an assault. Full, full SMG team, right? It'll probably have its uses if we want to just try to overrun a gun position or something. Then having the uh, assault team could possibly come in handy. So we have one leftover acquisition point. And, um, yeah, we'll just see what happens, so. I think we're gonna just leave the tractor shed. It's kind of, a, like, a tough spot to defend. Um. And, yeah, if I put my KV-1, sir, like, the enemy can have a lot of stuff. And that's the other ones. We're gonna drag them down as well. Okay, so that's what I'm thinking. We put them all in defend mode. And we can slant them all in this direction. Put them close together, so we have like a compact force that can take on any enemy tanks that will be spotted straight off the bat. If we don't see any enemy tanks, we can roll in with them. Uh, so yeah, we are defending, but quite possibly we don't really need the infantry on this one if we can just make use of our tanks, so to minimize casualties, I think we just keep our... Uh, Infantry in the back end on this one. 
We could put like the LMG infantry down here on the river. This SMG infantry. Could put them in here as well. I guess it could just be ready to strike at the enemy. Hopefully not getting spotted, because if they get spotted over here then we're gonna oh, we're gonna be in a little bit of trouble. We had a group leader over here with them. A little bit further up north. Just kinda hiding in the river though. Put the LMG infantry here, so we have one more unit here that can kind of be a little bit useful. And might as well put the other LMG infantry in here as well, and that's, um, that's all we can do. Uh, so we start, and we see what happens. Okay, that's an enemy gun. Can anyone shoot that thing? No. Medium anti-tank gun destroyed immediately. Fantastic, okay. Uh, let's just push the KVs in, huh? Let's see what comes of that. As soon as that guy isn't hiding, the uh, Panzer Ford isn't hiding behind the building anymore, he should be destroyed pretty easily. Good luck fighting our KV-1s. Oh, well, they could have more anti-tank guns and tanks, so... Who knows, they might actually have good luck fighting them. I'm hoping they won't, though. Obviously. But yeah, we're just kind of fanning them out there. Putting them in position. And seeing what they run into. Uh, I might have accidentally held my mute key uh, while I was talking earlier. <laughs> I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, shouldn't be a big deal, I suppose. They already want the truce, so I don't think... Even though they are supposed to have a lot of requisition points right now, I don't think they necessarily actually do. So we'll move our tanks in further. Just spread them up a little bit. So we can cover more ground. I want to see if there's anything down here as well. Certainly want to take out this Panzer IV over here. If they can get some shots on it at any point in time, we can just flank around them. As long as we keep a front armor towards it, it shouldn't really be a problem. Oh, look at that! They got in a shot, maybe stop driving and uh, finish shooting it out. Okay, he's trying to cover himself with smoking. Hopefully that's not going to be too bad. Let's not get too close to that building, something could be in there that could be dangerous. Okay, we took that guy out, fantastic! Um, yeah, I think we just move these guys further west then, and there we go, there's a tank down there. If you can call it that, what even is that? It's like an SPG or something. Yeah. I will see what it is when we destroyed it. I'm not too worried. Just gonna keep moving. Should be able to ignore it and just bypass with this guy, but we could face it and take it on. As well. Oh, it's a Panzer 38T. Yeah, that's not going to do anything to our KV, so we're just going to move past. This guy should be enough. It's damaged. Just a little bit hard to see what it actually was with that dot covering large portions of it. Wait a minute, what just happened? Okay, we got infantry there. We don't have anything that farm. Let's see if we can shoot out that tank crew before they get out. Ah, no, we can't. They're, they're fleeing off the map. And that's fine. We're just gonna keep rolling in. Take both our KV once over here. How's this guy not dead yet? These are like crack troops. They got four bars out of five on uh, experience. And they're just not really hitting. We got a flamethrower guy right there. We don't want him to get too close to our tanks. Took out the command team. Okay, well, the T-38 isn't going to do much to our KVs, so we can maybe just move up towards them. And get a little bit better shots. They probably have bad shots for being down in the valley, though. Uh, now there's this, um, these infantry down there. That could be an issue. So let's not get too close to where they might be moving, and instead let's climb up on a hill and shoot down on them. That should give them a little bit of a hard time reaching with the uh, flamethrower. Oh, we got infantry there as well. 
Yeah, time to take them on. Engineers. Right, if we can take out the engineers, then we're in a good position. That's gonna cost them a lot of their position points. Lose. We do have a lot of infantry down here, but at the current uh, moment in time, it looks like our tanks will be enough to deal with all this. They've abandoned the Panzer 38. And this infantry here is running back. We can uh, get them to the side here with this KV-1 as well. Would certainly like to try to keep them uh, at a distance, though, so this flamethrower guy does not uh, just grill one of our tanks. Yeah, maybe we can get those guys. Alright, defend and start engaging. You can't actually engage just yet. Oh. This light infantry is trying to close in. That's not good. We can get this KV turned around really fast. Okay, they're throwing down. Good. Heavy machine guns got them covered as well. Good. Don't let up. Don't let up. Keep pumping blue uh, lead onto this, these guys. I was about to say it's the Norwegian though. Alright, they surrendered. And we can focus more on these guys. There will be no truce. Well, we can still take out that last recon, dude, so go for it. It would be even better if we could take out the uh, engineers, but I don't want to get too close to them, because uh, before you know it, you're going to get a flamethrower burst in your face, and that might ignite your tank, uh, which certainly we would like to avoid if possible. And that's the scout team. Okay, we're going to just waypoint this guy ever so slightly like this, put this guy on the fan, and we're going to see if we can see those... Uh, those engineers, but we're going to push up a little bit closer to this infantry here. I don't think they can do too much. And we're just going to leave our infantry hanging in the back for now, because honestly, we don't need them. We, we will just kill everything with our tanks. And we'll keep our infantry alive for a time in the future where we actually do need them. Alright, it's so a medium or heavy machine gun team. So that's not the worst. We go, uh, that's the engineers moving again. Fantastic. We're going to have good shots on them. What we can do, we can move this KV-1 down here and get into the riverbed and shoot up on them. That could lead to a flambe, but uh, let's hope it doesn't. Okay, there's one guy left in that crew. And now to listen. Uh, I guess let's go check for mortars or something. Okay, they ran away, and we've completed the operation, shut them down on day one. So we're certainly lucky number 13. No casualties, we destroyed one tank, one gun, and we captured a tank. In addition to killing 10 guys, wounding 11, and taking 7 prisoners. I say, decisive victory, immediately on day one. So, we will, we will, we will, we will, we will be. It's uh, good English uh, from my side there. Freaking butchering my words. Uh, yeah, but we will move on to the next operation in the next episode, as per usual. And uh, I hope you enjoyed watching it so far. If you did, I would appreciate if you would consider leaving a like on the video and maybe even subscribing to my uh, channel if you would like to see more of my content in the future. There will be more co uh, close combat and other game-related stuff. So, there you have it. With that, I bid you farewell and you can catch me in the next one. Peace out.